field near Muskogee, Oklahoma isn't where you'd expect to find a decorated World War II submarine, but that's exactly where the USS Batfish sits. During the boat, it's clear these weren't built for someone 6'4". He's anxious to see me go through this. <laughs> that would be pretty claustrophobic down there. This room here is your control room. If you want to think of it best, it's like the driver's seat of the boat. Up in that little hole there, that's their actual uh, attack station up there. That's what actually guides your torpedoes or sets up your attack. Commissioned in 1943, near the height of World War II, this sub racked up an impressive record considering its late arrival to the fight. The battle flag tells the story. It displays the sub's kills. The Batfish has 13. Three were Japanese subs sunk over a 76-hour period. Naval personnel that I talked to over at the Naval History Command will tell you that that's probably never going to be broken. Sailing the Luzon Strait with two other subs, the Batfish detected a Japanese sonar signal zeroed in on it and fired. The kind of the amazing thing is that all three submarines were sank in the same fashion. It was almost routine for them at, after the third one. Another interesting story, an entry in the ship's log on August 6th, 1945. It mentioned a strange glow on the horizon. The next morning they woke up and got reports that the bomb on Hiroshima had just been dropped. You know, being a guy that you know wasn't in the military, uh, to hear these stories and to see the, the battle flag, I mean, that you get goosebumps seeing it. From forward to aft, I've got one word to describe the batfish. Impressive.